Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I will be getting you through a feel good yin yoga sequence. So there won't be deep hip openers or anything like that, but it will feel really, really nice on the body, especially the front body, the chest and the side body. So for this practice, we will be playing around with our blocks. You will only require one block. If you don't have a block, you can always grab a pillow, fold it in half if you need it to be a little bit more firm. So we will go ahead and get started with our first posture, which will be laying on our backs for banana. So coming to lay all the way down onto the mat, extending both legs straight down onto the mat, you're going to walk both heels off the left side of your mat. Now normally in banana, we would remain like this or cross the right ankle over the left. You're very welcome to do that. Bring your arms up overhead. You can interlace your fingers or grab onto opposite elbows. But for today, what we're going to do is you're going to bend your left knee and grab a hold of your left ankle. And you're still going to curve in to make that C shape. Just a nice variation here. You can also bring your hand behind your head if that feels good. Coming into our last few breaths on this side. Our last two breaths here, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently release, bringing the torso back upright shimmying the right leg all the way back to center and extending the left leg down the mat. Let's take a moment here before we come to the other side. Maybe it feels good to draw the knees in towards the chest, gently rock from side to side. And we will repeat the same thing on the other side. So extending both legs down the mat, walking both feet across and off the right side of the mat. So you can stay here and cross the left ankle over the right ankle, or 
You can bend the right knee, grab a hold of the right ankle with the right hand, and curve yourself in to find that C shape. And again, the option is always there to bring your hand behind your head. We enter our last few breaths here. And also interim yourself more into that C shape. our final two breaths here. A nice big inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Remove your hand if you had it behind your head and bring your torso back upright. Shimmy your left leg back to center and your right leg to follow. You can keep both knees bent if you like, bringing your feet as wide as your mat and just let your knees knock in. And find some movement here or maybe stillness feels better. with your feet as wide as they are and your knees pointing towards the ceiling, let's go ahead and just drop both knees to the left for a moment. Coming back through center and dropping both knees to the right. And coming back through center. Go ahead and grabbing your block. And it's up to you what you decide to do. You can have the block at its highest height, second highest height, or lowest height. So if you would like, you could start off with a height higher than what you are normally accustomed to as we're going to drop to the lower height as we go through the pose. So pushing into your feet, push yourself up into a bridge position and you're going to place the block underneath your sacrum. So you might need to adjust a little bit. 
So you'll know it's your sacrum because it's that flat piece of bone. The block should not be digging into your low back, nor should be digging into your bum. So once you find that position, just relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, find space for the neck. And just hanging out here. So we have been here for a while. The option is yours. You could totally stay in this position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push into my feet, pick up my hips, and I'm going to drop the block to the second highest height, bringing my sacrum back down onto the block. And the reason why I'm dropping down is because we are going to be extending our legs out wide onto the mat. Really that nice opening in the hip flexors, the front body. The option is yours. You can bring your arms up above. I like to play with pointing and flexing my toes. Also give myself a little shimmy on the blocks, shimmying my hips from side to side. It feels good. Coming into our last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths. Nice big inhale. Reach, 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 reach. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Go ahead and bend your knees. 
And stay here for a moment or push into your feet. Pick up your hips, remove the block, oh, and set your hips back down onto the mat. Just taking a moment before coming to our final, final pose. Go ahead and grab onto your knees, draw your knees in towards your chest, and rock from side to side. Massage out through the low back. And from here, we will be making our way into our final pose. So for this one, you will need your block, but I'm going to use a softer block. So come on up. You're going to take your block and place the top tip of the block at the bottom tip of your shoulder blades. So uh, where your bra strap ladies would be. And you're very gently going to set yourself down. You might need to do some adjusting. And it also depends on how big or how thick your block is. And from here, very gently bringing the head to the mat. Remember not to shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Draw your shoulders down and away. You can bring your arms out. You can extend your legs straight. Or you can bring them into butterfly legs. Not only do you feel the opening effects in the chest, but you also feel that nice cooling sensation in the low back from the, from the posture before. It's almost as if everything sensation-wise now it has been heightened.
we end our last few breaths here. Making these your deepest breaths. Taking our last two breaths, nice big inhale, really feel that breath come right up into the chest. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. So you had the soles of the feet touching. Just extend both legs straight down onto the mat. You're going to push in to your right elbow. Come up slightly. Roll off the block. Remove the block. And come to lay all the way down onto your back. Take two more cleansing breaths here, but on your exhale, making it audible. So nice sigh, whatever it is to feel good. Nice big inhale. And audible exhale. <sighs> One more inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Just notice how deeper you sink into the sensation. <sighs> 